morning. My name is Isabel. I live in Formby and go to Holy Trinity Church. This morning's reflection I've recorded in two halves. So we'll start with the reading, which is Psalm 48. And then, because the psalm is all about God's holy mountain, I was able to record the, my response to it in a beautiful and mountainous setting a bit nearer to home. Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise in the city of our God, the holy mountain. It is beautiful in its loftiness, the joy of the whole earth. Like the utmost heights of Zaphon is Mount Zion, the city of the great king. God is in her citadels. He has shown himself to be her fortress. When the kings joined forces, when they advanced together, they saw her and were astounded. They fled in terror. Trembling seized them there, pains like that of a woman in labour. You destroyed them like ships of Tarshish, shattered by an east wind. As we have seen, so we have heard, in the city of the Lord Almighty, in the city of our God, God makes her secure forever. Within your temple, O God, we meditate on your unfailing love. Like your name, O God, your praise reaches to the end of the earth. Your right hand is filled with righteousness. Mount Zion rejoices, the villages of Judah are glad because of your judgments. Walk about Zion, go round her, count her towers, consider well her ramparts, view her citadels that you may tell of them to the next generation. For this God is our God, forever and ever. He will be our guide, even to the end. Do you have Bible passages that you can't read without wanting to sing them? Psalm 48 is one of those for me. And not only do I hear the words to the tune of a worship song, I picture the youth group where I learnt it who were crammed into the living room of the youth leader's home, surrounded by friends whose fellowship led me to become a Christian. Looking back, I remember my life then as being a lot simpler than it is for my teenage children now. Especially this year, when even certainties like school routine and exam results have been thrown into chaos and disarray. But even then, I remember how real my inner struggles felt to me as I tried to work out my picture of the world. This song seemed so simple, so joyful, summed up, summed up how good it felt to be so simply unified in our faith. And do you know what? That simple message, that simple joy was real and it's still real. Life in 2020 is undoubtedly complicated, stressful, sad, frightening, uncertain. But this God is our God forever and ever. He will be our guide, even to the end.